Okay, so we had a bit of a bozo move with the uh, um, end of the second pump when I was removing the uh, the bearing. I didn't notice that it had kind of the bearing puller had canted to the side, so it's now you can see that. Um, yeah, bent the uh, thread that the impeller goes on. So. I've mounted it in the lathe <sighs> Okay, after much deliberation and umming and ahhing and ooing and don't know what the hell I'm going to do uh, I'm going to take this off back to that shoulder tap it, or drill and tap it for M8 then make a stud that will screw in um, with that uh, M10 thread on the outside because it's just not enough there to, to put a piece of M10 all the way in and if that fails down the track or whatever then I'll go all the way back to this shoulder that the bearing rides on or this, this section of the shaft that the bearing's on and I'll remove this whole section and make up basically a like a shoulder bolt to go in to do the same same idea and there should be a lot more meat well there is a lot more meat back here um, we'll see how we go from there so I was having a lot of problems with the steady rest on this lathe as you can see there's a lot of side deflection on it because the guides aren't in line center line so I think I'm going to make some some roller guides um, for it or at least try and modify it and fix it in some way um, so we just machined the edge flush with that shoulder center tapped it sorry center drilled it drilled it seven and a half millimeter um, then ran a tap up it um, followed by a um, bottoming tap I made sure that all the threads were nice and clean up inside and um, before I screwed in the the stud that I made up, I washed it all out with some degreaser to make sure the Loctite had a good bite. Um, now this is a, a... I probably should have done this differently. I used a, a high tensile bolt which had the right thread on one end um, and I just turned down the back side to 8mm um, and I was having... I tried it once and didn't get a good um, thread on it with my die set because it's a average die set and this is a hard bolt so I decided to um, single point thread it and uh, broke the threading tool because <laughs> I wasn't backing it out because I should have really put a relief at the back of the thread which I did after turning the thread for some reason um, so what I should have done is just machined an 8mm, got a piece of 10mm bar, machined the 8mm thread on the back, threaded it into the motor and then turned the um, the thread. Actually I should have had a even bigger like a 12mm piece, machined it down to size while it was in the, in the um, motor shaft and then machined the thread and it would have been perfectly true. Um, doing it this way I did get a little bit of wibble wobble in it but um, not too much and if it does fail down the track then I'll do what I, I just suggested um, so here I'm just after I just turned the relief on the back which I should have done first um, cleaned the end up everything fits fine turned it over and just cutting the thread off to length machine that flush put a um, chamfer on the end all right bit of red loctite it's not look it's not the truest but it's good enough mainly because I'm now currently over it
So it's um, gonna have that call today. Tiny bit of wobble in it. It's nothing compared to what was there, and it seems to be a bit more like this rather than like that. And if it's a side to side, that's not that's as bad. The seal, the seal can do that, but it can't do that. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm calling that. Hopefully done. Got a bit of wibble wobble in it, doesn't it? Seal seems to be running fairly true though. Whatever, I'm over it. Let's just put the bloody thing back together and see if it freaking works.